Hello, my name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to view pay slips and create personal payment methods. I'm signed in as an employee and I want to view my payroll information. I can use the quick action or click the pay icon. Here are my recent pay slips. I can easily display older pay slips by selecting last 12 months or enter a specific date range. These are my pay slips for the last 12 months. If I want more details, I can drill down on a specific pay slip. I have the option to save the pay slip file so I can view it or send it as needed, or I can just open it. At the top of the pay slip are my personal and job information and the payroll period information. There's a summary of the gross earnings and then a breakdown of the earnings, pre tax deductions, taxes, and other deductions. If I need more information, there are more details below. Now I'll set up my personal payment methods. Personal payment methods define how I want to receive my payments, whether by check, direct deposit, and so on. You'll need to add your bank account details before creating your payment methods if you want to be paid by direct deposit. First, I'll add my checking account. Once I enter a bank account, the application displays a warning and a notification to make sure I know that I also need to add a payment method in order to be paid into my bank account. Then I'll add my savings account. Now I need to set up my payment methods. I'll set up one for my checking and then one for my savings. I'll give them names that help me remember which payment methods they are. The payment type is how I want to get paid, whether by check, direct deposit, and so on. I'll select my bank from the list. Once I've added a payment method, it's listed here and automatically defaults to 100%. Now I'll set up the payment method for my savings account. I'll use the same steps as before, only this time I'll enter a name and account information for my savings account. And with my second payment method, I can save a percentage of my check or a specific amount. Now I've created two payment methods. The payment methods are in the order my pay will be distributed, which means that the first $250 I earn will go into my savings account and the remaining pay will go into my checking account. I can add more payment methods and change the order they're processed. I can also make changes to them, such as change between specific amounts and percentages, or delete payment methods. This concludes the Viewing My Pay Slips and Payment Methods tutorial. Thanks for watching.